Before you begin, the unit must be shut down and depressurized. You start by removing the lines from the regulator and then the bolts from the separator tank. Next, remove the separator tank lid and separator element. Also, remove the separator retainer. With the separator and retainer removed, we can inspect and clean the retainer. Make sure there is good contact between the retainer and the separator element. Next, remove the separator element from the lid and inspect the scavenge tube for position and for blockage. The tube must be clear to allow flow through the tube and out through the port and back to the compressor element for oil scavenge purposes. When reassembling, be sure the scavenge tube aligns in the cup of the separator, not in the inside diameter. Next, reinstall the clean and inspected retainer. Remove and replace the tank lid O-ring. At this point, the separator can be reinstalled. Reattach the tank lid bolts and attach the lines. Please refer to the unit's instruction manual for additional information. Questions? Please contact us at 800-732-6762 or acce.customerservice at us.atlascopco.com. You can also use our Power Connect app for more helpful information.